Hi, I'm Yannick from Canadian Precision Shooting. Today we're going to do a video uh, about the Tunicam. I get a lot of requests about uh, about an English version of my uh, of my Tunicam explanation uh, video I did in French earlier this year. Uh, so uh, so here we are. For those who don't uh, already know, the tuner can, the tuner we're going to talk about today is for a uh, 22 long rifle uh, type of ammunition. So what we're going to do uh, today, we're going to talk about how it works, uh, how do you have to adjust it, and what's the effect you can expect from it at, uh, at longer range. So first of all, at the beginning of the year, uh, I was testing the tuner can. Uh, so we've done a lot of testing with about uh, 8 to 10 different type of ammo. We've shot about 500, uh, 500 bullets out of two different rifles. Uh, mine's a CZ455 and a Roger Precision. Uh, to collect all the data and, uh, and see how the tuner uh, can, um, can change the, uh, the point of impact, the group size and, uh, and everything else. So we collect a lot of data out of it. And uh, we're using it all year long for competition shooting to uh, to prove finally what uh, what data we got uh, earlier today. There is different type of tuner. There is some uh, more basic one that are uh, rubber rings. You just put on the barrel and you move them forward and backward to change the harmonic of the barrel. And uh, of course, I prefer some that are made like the tuner can where it's, you, you can move, like you can screw the, uh, the mass of the tuner uh, turning it, but when you're turning it, it's moving forward and backward, but you have mark on it, so you can repeat the same, uh, the same tuning effect from a, mm, one to the other ammunition if you want. The tuning can is from Red Note Custom, uh, Gunschmidt uh, in, uh, in Quebec. The, the tuner I've tested is the, uh, the first version of it, uh, so it's an early one. Uh, they made now a, a really more, uh, a, light, a really nice sort of one. I will put the, uh, the picture on the, on the video of the, uh, the last version he got. You can choose a color, there is mark on it that's engraved. Uh, so it's really better, uh, better looking than my, my old version. But we were testing it just to see if, uh, if the effect working, uh, working great. So how a tuner work? It's pretty simple. Uh, by moving the mass forward and backward, you change the harmonic or the, um, the effect of the shock wave of the, uh, the explosion of the ammunition in the chamber. So the harmonic is the, the way the barrel, uh, move while you shoot. So the tuner changed the barrel behavior. Uh, what you expect to do is to tune it and get better grouping out of it. Of course it doesn't change the, the, the speed of the bullet so the FPS is not affected. So if you use ammunition with bad uh, extreme spread you're gonna keep having a bad extreme spread. If you're, so, so that's, that's the point of using competition ammunition, even with using a tuner. So you can keep having a good SDs, good ES out of it. And you just have, you, you, well, you just need to tune the, the, the group size. Instead of uh, with, uh, without a tuner, you, find, you try to find a good ammunition that gives you good SD, good ES, and a good group. With a tuner, you just need to focus on the um, on the good SDES, and you're gonna tune the group uh, at the end. Of course, if you can find an ammunition that group well on your rifle, and adding the the, the tuner on it, uh, you're gonna get the best result you can expect, and and that that's the main point of it. But we've got really good result with uh, with ammunition with good SDS, uh, with bad groups, and uh, well, we'll talk to uh, talk about that a bit later. So now, how do you adjust the uh, the tuner? Um, it's really easy to do. It's uh, it's basically close to a, a low development for center fire. So you put the tuner on like let's say zero uh, 
the, the, the zero setting on it and you shoot a string of fire about five to ten uh, ten shot uh, to look at the group so you better do it at 50 yards so five to ten uh, five to ten shot you move the tuner on the uh, the, 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 the first mark repeat the uh, five to ten uh, shot group move the tuner to second uh, second mark five to ten shot group and again and again and again usually we'll find a node that are um, two to four of a tenth of a turn so uh, on two marks between two to four marks you can be able to uh, to see a node um, it's what we found for all our ammunition tests and I, I know I put some graphics all around the screen uh, if for the guys who like the data and uh, so well it is and uh, you find well if you find to be the, 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 the your best two groups uh, were between two and three uh, mark on the tuner well you can put the tuner and uh, and uh, secure the uh, the the fixing screw on it on a, a two and a half turn so uh, it's gonna work like that um the result we got for good ammunition we you can expect from 30 to 45 uh, percent better accuracy over over not using the tuner and for bad ammunition with bad SD bad group at the beginning you can get 50 to 65 percent uh, increase in accuracy uh, of course we're you're gonna have to test it on different temperature so uh, let's say at, uh, I cannot be you, you can't be sure it's gonna work at 25 degree outside and at zero degree outside uh, when, while you're gonna go shooting maybe you're gonna have to adjust the tuner from one to the other uh, from what we saw this season uh, I had the same uh, tuning at both temperature so far it's not a winter yet so we've only able to be uh, we've only been able to shoot at uh, at about zero degree outside and maybe 30 uh, at max during the summer and we got the same uh, the same tune for the the ammunition but i i'm not sure we're gonna have to uh, to test it during the winter because i'm not sure it's going to be the same during really low temperature if it, as the uh, 22 ammunition usually are really temp effective so uh, temp affected so um, so we're gonna have to test it again finally for the um, long range effect of the tuner we were expecting maybe some issue uh, out there uh, because of the uh, you know we, we've as I said earlier we were changing the barrel uh, barrel behavior so for high speed uh, ammunition on, on the same lot of ammunition high speed ammo are supposed to shoot higher and low speed gonna shoot uh, uh, obviously lower on a group if you if you, you, you tune the tuner to uh, reduce those spread how is it gonna affect the long range shot at 200 and more yeah we were expecting to maybe have result that uh, that has more vertical spread at long range using a tuner that are tuned for 50 yards for example um, so we done, we've done a lot of testing uh, we record with the Labrador all the shot on the on group size uh, the, on with the tuner at 50 and then we were shooting at 200 so we were uh, using the Labrador to see the extreme spread so the, the, the highest uh, velocity and the lowest and, uh, and see how the group, how the vertical spread of the group at 200 will behave uh, compared to at 50 yards. So I have the number here uh, on five shot group uh, we done for, 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 for the mats. Uh, on five shot group, the lowest speed was 1014 which should give us a drop of about 45 and a half inches at, uh, at, uh, at 200 yards with a 22 long rifle. Um, and our highest speed shot was 1058, which is supposed to be 
41 and a half inches at 200. So what we were expecting is a vertical spread of three inches plus, let's say, the accuracy of the rifle. Let's, let's say, like a half MOA, even a quarter MOA of, so uh, uh, a full inch of uh, accuracy uh, out there. So with our calculation, we were expecting four inches of maximum tolerance of the vertical spread uh, at 200 yards using only the ballistic of the um, of this ammunition um, if the if our group on the uh, at 200 is higher than that what we will say is the tuner has a bad effect on the uh, accuracy at long long range and uh, if we have a smallest group out there vertical spread uh, we were well we could say it's uh, it had good effect on it so all of it the go i can show you the group at the, on the screen it was about it was less than two inches uh, of vertical spread at 200 yards so we conclude with that the uh, the effect of the tuner on close range is affecting on the same way at long range so we got if you can um, if you can great if you can get smaller group size at 50 you're going to get smaller group size at 200 so far and we've tested with a couple different ammunition and got always the same result so far so uh, if you guys having any issue on this way please send me an email i'm, I'm really curious to uh, to see it happening because theoretically it could but physically and uh, and having testing it we haven't been able to to produce the um, the, the side effect so in conclusion, it's a device we're using for PRS style uh, prison shooting for um, for competition. It's working great. Um, it's easy to use, easy to tune, and really reliable, reliable so far. If you guys still have any question about the tuner, you can post in the comment section or, or email me directly, uh, or email uh, Paul at Rendub Custom directly. There is not a problem. Um, so I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. I hope it uh, answered a lot of your question. If you still have some, post it in the comments. So um, thanks a lot, guys.